Let's go ahead and turn our attention now to Larry Spruill, who is live with more on what we're learning about the faster horses outbreak. Larry. Well, good evening, Sandra and Steve. The health department says that at least 17 people who went to that festival last weekend tested positive for the coronavirus. And now they also believe that there could be more out there. If you were at the Faster Horses Country Music Festival last weekend on July 16th through the 19th at the Michigan International Speedway, you might want to listen up. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is urging you to go get tested, especially if you're not vaccinated. That's because they say at least 17 people who attended the event tested positive for COVID-19. Dr. John A. Caldoun, the chief medical executive and chief deputy for health with Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, says people who were there may have been exposed. And now they're working with local public health departments of an investigation of cases of COVID-19 illness associated with the Faster Horses Festival. Caldoun also says although we are making great progress with vaccination in our state, the virus continues to circulate in Michigan and across the country. Compared to the virus we had circulating initially in the United States at the start of the pandemic, the Delta variant is more aggressive and much more transmissible than previously circulating strains. It is one of the most infectious respiratory viruses we know of and that I have seen in my 20 year career. And so once again, they are asking if you were at that festival to get tested and to also watch yourself for any symptoms whatsoever. We are live tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4. All right. We'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Larry.